going on guys victor here we got the boys we got justin menendez what's up guys and juno ryan back in town what's up guys both of these guys have channels i'm gonna have justin's channel link below and ryan's channel link below justin's actually a local up here in like the melbourne sebastian area so he's showing a little bit He's showing us a little bit about his fishery. Redfish, snook, tarpon, jacks. I'm excited. We're gonna catch some fish for sure. We're actually on his brand new <laughs> boat. Ryan has spent the last four years serving our country in the Marines and yep. he just got home. So yeah, just got home, got done, moved back down to Florida. So I'm here to catch some fish. There is a dolphin right there in super skinny water. You guys see that his dorsal fin is coming out of the water. He's probably dragging his belly on the bottom. So we're giving the bait catching a little bit of a break because you guys look around me, there's life everywhere. Dolphins, otters, tarpon, pogies, mullet, and there's a bunch of little juvenile tarpon that we see rolling. So Ryan's got a crook on and we're gonna try to pitch it to it and see if we can hook up. JM! My man. You filming? Yeah. That was a good fish too. Nice job. Camera? Right here, oh, was that on a live croaker? Yes it was. Ooh. Heck okay. yeah. When you're bait fishing. Uh, Dude, more I... tarpon than there is bait. <laughs> Where's your camera at, Justin? Uh, in the big pocket. On the side one, side one, side one, side. Got it. You're good, fight your fish. Mm. Hey, could you hold this rod for me? Yeah, sure. Right to you. That's a fun size one right mm. there. How about that, guys? That is actually my first tarpon in this boat. And the tarpon boat works. <laughs> but Heck, that's actually really yeah. cool. He's about uh, probably three, four pounds. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, dude. All right, guys. Well, our uh, bait adventure did not go too hot. Poor Justin had to throw the net like a hundred times. They just were not there. So we ended up actually going and buying bait. Just came out of Sebastian Inlet. Big school of probably little bonitos and blue runners blown up on top. So I'm going to put the head cam on. Toss probably a little bucktail or something, and we'll see what they're what they are. We don't really know, but we see there's just a bunch of bait flickering and popping up top right there. Oh, oh, there's one. There's something. Yeah. Feeling like a bony. Yep. I uh. You. Nice big girl. Trying to talk, but your drag is too loud. Oh, came off. Came off. Came off. Out. That is a beautiful specimen, Ryan. Oh, you know how yeah, I told you that these okay. bonitas are feeding on little minnows? Let's get a good look at Justin there. What you got on you, buddy? I don't know, somewhere. Is there? Is that them right there? Ugh. Oh yeah, look, look at it. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> See oh, how small? Minnows. Those baits are tiny. Ugh. Thanks, Ryan. You're welcome. Yeah, they eat those you things onto you. Oh, 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 oh! oh that Dude, was sick. All the eats have been right next to the boat. Heck yeah. You're going to make a fine goliath bait, Mr. Bonita. <laughs> Anybody who talks trash about Aldi's, Bonita's, whatever you want to call them, they're fun, especially on white tackle. And this is exact... Oh, see, there's the minnow pod right there. Yeah. Justin, you want to see them? That's all the little minnows you guys see right there. That's what they're feeding on, tiny little stuff. So this is what we're catching right here. False albacore, also known as a bonita to all us southerners. You guys in the northeast call these albies. Ton of fun, we just came out of the inlet and they're just blowing up on all these baits. And we're just ripping our bucktails as fast as we can on top of the water. That's that Mustad bucktail jig. And you guys can save 20% off all Mustad products use my code Landshark. We're actually gonna save this guy because right there, a lot of Goliath grouper live right there. So we're gonna save these guys for some glide baits. Okay guys, Ryan has a big bonita on and there's a goliath you guys can see right there in the crystal clear water. Let's see if it's gonna turn on it. It's not turning on. <laughs> oh, you got it. Kill switch. Oh, right. I think it just pulled, didn't it? If you're gonna drop one, I'm just gonna like focus up filming that for like my video. Or okay. Video. Yeah. Oh, he got it. He got it? He got it. Oh yeah, he got it. Yep. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped oh, it. You gotta, you gotta let him swim away from you with Oh it. my gosh, dude, that's a big one. He got it again. 
Oh no, he didn't. Holy smokes, that's a big one right there. Oh, he got it. He got it. I'm leaving him in free spool, letting him sm swallow it. Big bait. I say we got him. See it, Victor. Victor's about to get pulled under the boat. You're gonna have to go to the other side if he's gonna go that way. <laughs> I mean, dude, they didn't... don't even. Oh, dude, oh. he dropped it again. Yeah, dude. Ah. <laughs> uh. So I'm trying to set the scene for you guys. That's what happened to you. Look. Yep. Retention. This is what happened to us. We got all wrapped oh. up. So we're out here. We're out here at the tip of the inlet. And these Goliath grouper, they just kind of sit out here by the rocks and everything. They eat everything. They eat snook, crabs, they eat people's redfish. And we just caught those bonita offshore a little bit earlier. Saved them for dead bait. Big old mustad, circle hook, and just real heavy leader like 300 400 pound and it's pretty cool because we came here to snook fish originally and you can see the glide straight up and down it's pretty clear we're only in like 10 12 feet of water and we just watched them smoke our baits ryan hooked one pulled hook i hooked one pulled hook but it looks like they're swimming around and they're hungry so we got a couple more shots at this oh dude that's a big one yep is there another one right in front of them Nah, there's, no, I think there's one dude, one. he's huge. I'm gonna let him choke this. Yeah, we nice. got him. Yep. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're on. You're just gonna two, uh, This two. is gonna be a big one. Yeah, you're getting okay. took. He's going towards the inlet. Come on, baby. Come on, Victor. So strong. I mean, they're not there's fast There's a hole animals. out there, remember, dude. Oh, look, we got a nice fighting chair on Justin's <laughs> boat. Oh. I feel like he's just like this, like a big old gulf is just swimming there like that. Huge tail. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're definitely connected good. He shouldn't pull. You've started to gain a couple bumps. I feel someone's whine or something. We are whining down on this fight. I think it's going to be 200 plus. You got the mono. I think it's going to be big. They don't run a lot. They kind of just sit there and dig their heads. Yep. I'm gonna spin you a little bit, Vic. I know you guys have seen a lot of Goliath videos on YouTube probably. You don't need huge gear. This is just a JX Raptor with 80 pound braid. Yep. You see a lot of guys fishing like 200 pound braid and giant reels. It's really not necessary. They don't usually break you off. It's working. He's pretty yeah, much. Yeah, we're moving him. We're moving him now. He's pretty much spinning behind yeah. the boat right now. All right, Justin. We'll you... it, Vic. What's my job in this scenario? I you don't can know. Film. Just... Gonna... Oh God! Big one, man. dude. Look at that. Oh. Big old goldfish. That thing's dude, as big as your head. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Alright guys, so we're gonna release this fish. Ryan's just removing the hook right now. Beautiful animal. And these fish, they really don't feel anything. We fought this fish for five, seven minutes, got the hook out, and that's it. Yep. Now I'm just getting some uh getting some water through his gills, making sure he's strong. Because we don't want him like when they're exhausted to float upside down and like lose control of like their swim bladder and stuff like that. So you make sure they're right side up, kind of like this. And most of the time, like it just did when we were taking a pick, it's gonna kick out of my hands. But I just want to make sure he's kind of like this. One Dude, thing. Look at this big Dude, look, freaking war scars. Look at his. Look at his fin. Look yeah. at his fin compared to my hand. They got massive fins. It's like a dinner plate. It's huge. Cool animals. Yeah. Real cool animals. See ya, buddy. Woo! Oh, that was a nice shot. That was a nice shot. Good job, <laughs> Good job, dude. On him. So Good job, Vic. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> Thanks for taking us out. Freeway, let's go. Hey, that's the first. That's the biggest fish on this. That boat. is the biggest fish, and probably the biggest fish ever. <laughs> I mean, it's a Goliath, but that thing was absolutely massive. And how long do you think it was? He was probably like from like here to like where Ryan is. That's like. I think he's longer than your tape measure. Yeah, right yeah here, absolutely. Sure. But no way we're measuring him. 67. How, much, how much would you say he weighed, Ryan? Or Vic? I don't know. I I I would say 225. Yeah, super. Sure. Fat. 
I mean, sure. like, you guys just saw how big it was. I always think it's funny, as fishermen, we're always like, how much did it weigh? And it's like, dude, I don't care around scales. And if you have video evidence, that's how big it was, man. Like, it's just cool fish to see. Yeah. On it, hot. Right Bit the hook. Dang. Right, you you got it. Oh, no, I got it, I got it. <laughs> wow. My line is caught on the... On the rock. <laughs> He's good. He's a little dink. <laughs> I was like, Still I thought cool. He, I thought he pulled it right off, and my line was just caught on the oysters there. I will stick to you sight fishing. I don't care how big the fish is, I'll always take a sight, sight fish fish. It's just too much fun. Oh yeah, absolutely. We switched it up, we left the inlet, came inside the river, and now we're pitching some docks. And this is Justin's specialty right here. Sight cast in for oh. snook. And this guy did, the second he saw it, he was on it. See ya. We took a lunch break. It actually started pouring on us earlier, so we're back out here. We're grinding it out. Kind of a slow day, but hey, pulling up dude, to this. We've caught plenty of fish. We caught bonitas. We caught snook. We caught a freaking 200 pound glide through, yeah. bro. Ryan's yeah. overly optimistic today. <laughs> you know, I'm just a positive guy. Vic's bringing me down, but I'm bringing him back That's up. That's why you guys should subscribe to Johnny. Uh, to, to Ryan. To Johnny. To, <laughs> I, I'm delirious. I haven't slept much, but anyways. As I was so rudely interrupted, we're gonna try to <laughs> net some maharas behind us, go back out to the inlet, and now it's gonna be an incoming tide. And sometimes the snook and the I'll fish bite better on the incoming tide. Plus we got the afternoon for us, so we... Looks like some guys down there. Yeah, he got them good. Got the maharas. I got this. Wow. All right, we're good, we're good. You smoke them so good. What are you doing right there? Nice job, Justin. I'm close, son. These are primo baits. Maharas. This is a Mahara. Very good bait. And especially for variety. Redfish, snook, jacks. I think Ryan got us our dinner. It's been a rough day aboard the uh, JM Fishco on the tarpon. Ryan finally I'm connected. I'm Victor dinner right now. Um, well, it's also your dinner. Oh, oh, <laughs> Just I'm so you know. Eat. I don't know, bro. You think it's going to be good? It's gonna be delicious. All right, let's see. Decent one? No. I no. have a 30 pound leader in a small boat. Victor's dinner, son! <laughs> Here you go. Light her. Oh yeah, boys and girls. It's gonna be a catch and cook because we got dinner in the boat now. <laughs> and we got our jack. Victor is so excited. You know, you know, I've never seen a man that gets so excited when his buddy catches trash fish, but you know, you gotta love your friends for their perks and their quirks, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, as you see, there is a massive storm brewing behind us. We pulled on a few fish at the inlet, lost most of them, but Ryan saved the day with the jack back there. I caught dinner, apparently. I'm scared, I don't know, man. He's not scared, he's not, he's exaggerating. <laughs> he's excited to eat the jack, but big thank you to Justin once again. If you guys haven't already, check out his channel. Justin does a lot of really cool inshore stuff. Redfish, snook, tarpon. He makes the best inshore videos in Florida. Hands down. I said it. <laughs> Hands down. So, yeah. subscribe, JM. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. I, I, gotcha. I was trying to say thank you, but you, he's also a really generous. humble guy. Yeah. Subscribe to Ryan because subscribe his views are down right now because he hasn't been in town for like four years. He's he's trying to get back into the swing of things, so it really help him out if you guys subscribe. Absolutely. Get his views going because he's got big things coming, right? Big aspirations and lots of videos coming, so I'm happy. I'll be happy to bring you guys along for the journey. That's it. Lots of collabs. We'll catch you guys at the dock. So we're gonna knock the sides off this guy real quick, and you guys are gonna see that this jack's meat is a lot whiter than the one that I ate on Chief's boat with Adam. That was a giant jack. The bigger the jack, the redder the meat. And that's generally where people associate that uh, real gamey flavor from. This guy's not quite red. I'd, I'd give it more of a pinkish color. Yep. Is that what you expected, Ryan? Honestly, man. It's like a dolphin that wasn't bled. Yeah. Like dolphin can look like that a lot of the time, especially a big, big old one. Yep. We did bleed it in the well. Yes, we did. I just popped my, pop, stuck my finger in his throat. The older the fish gets and the bigger the jack gets, the meat will turn 
redder and redder and redder. The big jack that we ate, that like 20, 25 pounder, I mean, it was bright red. Like you couldn't tell the difference between that and a tuna. So I'm gonna clean this guy up and catch you guys in the kitchen. All right guys, so we're gonna do a little tomato cream sauce. We got the boys. We're gonna do a little pasta and the Jack Carvel and some shrimp. I got some olive oil right here. I'm gonna make a little cream sauce. I'm gonna go in with some shallots. Immediately smell those shallots cooking. Shallots are not like regular onions. They cook real quick. They get really sweet. They caramelize quickly. Um, real delicious. And we're at Chris Lowe's house, if you guys haven't noticed. This is not my house. This guy right here. How's it going? Mr. Keystone himself. Okay, and with some garlic. And we just want to wake up the garlic and shallot. You don't really want to cook them too long. But you want to kind of get rid of that raw flavor. Any recipes for Jack Carvel in there? Mm. Actually, yes, there is. How is it recommended? Yeah, there's Jack on the Barbie. <laughs> is there a Jack in the garbage can? Jack Alfredo? <laughs> we got the Jack Alfredo going on tonight. Garlic and onion sauteed a little bit. We're going to go in with some fresh tomato. Cream sauces can be super heavy, so I like to add something acidic and kind of freshen it up with the tomato. Tomato, garlic, shallot mixture off. We're gonna slowly add in some half and half and I do not want this to separate and curdle. So if you put it in and it's too hot, it's exactly what it's gonna do. So I'm gonna slowly add in our half and half. Parmesan cheese. It's gonna thicken it up as well as give it a really good flavor. One reason that I always tell people to try fish like Jack or something is because, number one, you should always challenge yourself, but if you remove the bloodline, so you guys see that this fish has no bloodline, nothing bloody about it, there's nothing foul about it. You gotta remove all the pieces that are gonna turn someone away from the fish. So, you guys look, it's it looks nice. It's pink, um, super firm. Jack is one of those fish that is it's not very flaky, it's, it definitely holds its texture. And we're gonna just season it with some Tony's, some Creole seasoning. So we're gonna just douse it in some Tony's. We also got some shrimp that have also been doused in Tony's. We got a pan right here. I'm gonna go in with some olive oil. This is how we're gonna cook the Jack. We're in with the Jack Travel. Olive oil is nice and hot. It, honestly, like if I smell this, it'd be like, oh, are we doing like some black and mahi tacos or something like that? It, like it, it just smells like cooking fish. Like I honestly couldn't tell you the difference. The reason I like to work with this fish is because I like thick fish. I like firm, fleshed fish. I don't like fish that falls apart. And that's one thing that Jack is not. It's got a really good texture about it. Smelling beautiful. Our cream sauce right here. I let it reduce, you guys see it's pretty thick. Straight into our homemade tomato alfredo. Okay, the fish is done. Okay, now we're gonna really quickly cook our shrimp. I just added some butter. We still have some olive oil in there. Oh yeah, we got it. Oh, look at that. Everything skills. Beautiful butter bath. You guys see most of that tomato dissolved. It just gives it a real nice fresh flavor, I think at least. Jack. Okay, and then we top it off with some of our shrimp. And then we got our fresh scallion garnish. Let's talk about this. Yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> so, I have Jack Crevel cooked with pasta and tomatoes and a beautiful sauce. And you know what? The Jack's the star of the show. This is, you know what, man? <laughs> Who's, yeah, yeah. who's alarm is that? You know, must be yeah. mine. <laughs> it has to be mine. It's the know. pasta alarm, isn't it? Uh, yeah, probably. We went a little aggressive with the seasoning, to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah. As a user error, it happens to the best of us, especially when you're all just jacking around. Get it? Jacking around. Did it? <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's honestly, it's very good. I think the thing with certain fish that people call trash fish is they probably don't keep well. So, like, if you don't bleed them and you don't ice them right away and you don't cut the bloodline out 
Like, that probably would not be good compared to a fish that's considered, you know, quality, like a mutton snapper or something like that that other people call, like, good table fare. That would probably keep a little bit better over time. So I, I think that we have a lot of, you know, parallels from back in the day where we didn't have ice, we didn't take good care of fish. But if you eat fish same day, man, trash fish, they're quality fish. Hey, you killed it, brother. Let's talk about this fresh caught when Dixie shrimp. <laughs> it's very good, isn't it? I mean, it was skipping down aisle six. <laughs> we had the trawlers out behind the cart, and they were just jumping in there. Couldn't keep up. It's safe to say Chris likes it. It was like Bubba Gump Shrimp Co. <laughs> this is my first time eating Jack. It's very... What's the word? Delicious. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's better than I thought. It's, uh, you know, I'm not going to go into detail like this guy. It's good. You're a man of simple words. It, well, yeah, simple it. tastes. That's it. I'm, I'm eating Jack right now. His dinner number three for him, and he still could eat Jack again. Yeah, I might have another piece. I mean, it does taste, it's pretty good. You are a growing boy. I am. We all know this. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. A big shout out to Justin. You guys seriously check out Justin's channel, check out Ryan's channel. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff this summer. None of this would be possible without you guys. I'm just, I'm having the time of my life with some good friends on a Thursday night, just eating Jack Carvel at the dinner table. And it's all because of you guys. So seriously, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Until the next one, see ya.